there's people out here saying things like, why does it matter if it's a ball or if it's flat? Or they'll say things like, I know something more important than flat earth. Like, really? What's more important than flat earth? Uh, blood over intent? <laughs> I can go with that for sure. But, you know, flat earth is just one step closer to the holy grail. You know, it's one step closer to truth. I'm going to go ahead and give another example. It's just like being in prison. You know, let's go ahead and say they put a couple stores up in that prison. Put a skylight. You know, there's light coming in. Go ahead and plant a tree. Maybe put some flowers in there. You know, and then they give you some pictures. They send you some pictures and say, you know, this is what the outside world looks like. But you don't know because you've been in prison your whole life. Somehow, some way, you've been in prison your whole life. And so then they just give you pictures. You know, these people that run everything, the whole prison, they just give you some pictures. And you're like, oh, that must be what it's like out there. But come to find out that it's completely opposite. You're just a slave in this prison, keeping things running in there for whoever, whoever it is. <laughs> Keep the slave system running. You know, that's all it is. Flat Earth is one step closer to the Holy Grail. That's the most important thing. Blood over intent. That's the most important thing. Now, there are lots of truths out there. But to say Flat Earth isn't important, that baffles me. <laughs> like, even if they're trying to contemplate it, their question is, why does it matter? If you're lied to about where you live, man, that's mind-blowing. <laughs> like, that's mind-blowing if you're lied to about where you live. That's one of those questions that throws me off. But you got to take time to break things down. Just like uh, I wish people would have broke down this ball earth instead of trying to ridicule everybody. Yeah, we're not going to say all that. You know, you can't get past it. There's no escaping it. You don't live on a ball. The proof is out there. Nobody's been to the moon. If you got one moon landing that's fake, then all of them are fake, which means all the countries are in cahoots. All the governments, blah, 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 in cahoots. <laughs> ah. Flat Earth, blood over intent. Blood over intent. I will stand by it forever. It's the best thing that's ever happened in my life. And it's somewhere where I could have, where I can go to, where people have a common goal because they see everything that's wrong that shouldn't be. While everybody else is out there worried about themselves, you know, just worried about themselves. And they'll do anything for that, or they'll cut people out, or they won't agree with any of these people's ideas or thoughts because they're so worried about themselves and they're so stuck in the way that they think that they can't even give anything else a chance. But <laughs> real things, I, I like to contemplate some real shit. I like to think about some real stuff. So, yeah. And blood over intent, flat earth is the real deal. Holy field. We're uniting, whole and complete, for one common goal to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. And that's what it is. And if you want to stand in truth with people who actually care about what's going on in this place that we're in, this world, this universe that we're in. You know, blood over intent. Write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. And release everybody from bondage and record yourself doing so. And put a drop of your blood on that. Upload it to the internet, to Ethernet, to YouTube. And title, tag it, and description, blood over intent. And when 144,000 people can come together for one common goal, 